started in um, about 74 and uh, I phased out of the Skyhooks last year. Um, if prior to that I was just living out of Phillip Island and generally being a surfy, <laughs> uh, working on a fishing boat and just building houses. Um, Freddie and Bongo, who I'd been, no, Freddie and, and Greg actually, um, had the band Skyhooks already happening. They'd done one Sunbury with their lineup and they'd sort of got to a lineup where they're happy with, except Steve Hill, who was the lead singer at the time, decided to leave because he saw himself on television <laughs> and uh, freaked out. And uh, I got a, approached to be in the band in 74. And uh, I accepted because I thought it'd be a bit of a hoot and a bit of fun. And uh, from then on, it changed all our lives. And uh, for like a good solid four years, we were flat chat with, with the work involved within the band. OK, the American tour, that particular period of time, why didn't the band break in America? Well, the reason uh, we didn't really break in America was because it's a long-term thing and we really didn't spend enough time as far as in America over that period. And I think it did a little bit of harm, actually, to our Australian followers because we were away from Australia so long, but uh, it's a big market. Like, for example, if you're playing in, um, in New York City, <laughs> which we did twice, um, you're playing to the entire population of the country you live in. So mm. it's like the comparisons between playing in a Melbourne pub to a gig in New York is just unbelievable, just the vast size of things. You signed a fairly large recording contract at that stage for overseas distribution. How much was it really worth in real terms? Well, basically, if a, if a, a band gets a, a record deal, the thing they're after, it's not so much the, your percentage on sales and everything, it's a, a fat, juicy advance, right? Basically, the advance is because of where you live in Australia, to get to America, to take your souls over, your roadies, your management, or whatever, it, it takes a fair whack of money. So basically, if you can get a, a heavy advance, which is non-recoupable against royalties, meaning you don't have to pay it back, you've got a chance of doing things. Regardless of how good a talent is, whether it be Skyhooks, Elton John, or whatever, um, I think luck plays a hell of an important part in, um, in getting there. And I still regard myself as a very lucky individual to have achieved what I have for the amount of time I've been in it. Because there's a lot of bands that sort of work for like you know, four and five years before they even break their market. And we were fortunate to do it in like two years. And uh, there was other bands in the country that were struggling at the time. And uh, a lot of things happened in those years, Countdown and Rock Magazine starting up and, and it all progressed. And I, I regard myself as very lucky. Mm -hmm. 